welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are doing a review and tutorial of the brand new Dior Backstage Face and Contour Palette. Is it Face and Contour? Let me actually read what the box says. It is the Dior Backstage Contour Palette, Professional Performance Ultra Buildable Blendable Contour and Highlight. That was a lot of words to say. So basically, it's a contour highlight sculpting palette. Well, before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can know whenever I post a new video. So the Dior Backstage Palette in Canada is only available through selected Sephora's. So before you go out to purchase the collection, make sure to call ahead just to make sure they actually carry it at your local Sephora. If you guys are interested in seeing more videos and reviews and tutorials on the rest of the Backstage collection, I will put links down in the description box for the other reviews that I've done. Okay, so this palette retails at $55 Canadian plus tax. There's only one shade for the contour palette. It claims to be universal. So up here are the highlighters and down here are the contour powders. So in theory there's supposed to be one light and one deep for both the highlight and the contour so that's why they say it's universal. So since it's a sculpting contour highlighting palette I thought we could do not only the face but also a little bit of the eyes. Because so this palette, just like the eyeshadow palette, does not have a mirror. It is plastic and it definitely does not have the same weight and heft that like the regular Dior collection usually has. If you check out my review on the eyeshadow palette, I went into further detail and theories behind the packaging and the marketing of this whole campaign. So I think what we'll do is using a big fluffy brush, we're going to go ahead and start building some dark color in the crease here. And I'm starting off by going into the lighter shade. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use a second a blending brush, and I almost dipped into this eyeshadow palette by accident. No, we're going to go back into this contour palette here and go into the darker shade. This one definitely looks a bit more red. This is much, much darker than the first one. Going back into the first fluffy blending brush and just making sure everything looks nice and smooth. Now, using a small tapered brush, I'm going to take the darkest shade again and just sweep it under the lashes here. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and use this on my cheekbones to actually use it as a contour palette. I mean, I know it's technically a contour palette, but I feel like if it's a matte brown, it can go on your cheeks, it can go on your eyes, it doesn't matter. I dipped into the lighter shade first because it's always easier to add than it is to remove makeup. I feel like you definitely have to dip into the lighter shade a few times to get this color payoff, even though it's not that intense. So I'm gonna go ahead and very lightly dip into the darker shade because, Ooh, okay, that looks, that needs to be blended. I feel like it's impossible for me to do like bronzer or slash contour without my baby hairs getting involved. Back you go. I think I like the darker shade for contour on me, which I mean, I don't know if I'm supposed to because it's supposed to be universal for like all sorts of skin tones, but I feel like the lighter shade, I'm going to try it again on the other side, but I feel like it's just like, it's too light. I mean, there is some payoff, but you really have to like swirl around a lot to get it. And I mean, it depends. Maybe you want more of a natural bronzy contour effect, but I feel like I would rather just go lighter into my bronzer then have to like dig into it, you know? I just want to compare something because my favorite bronzer at the moment is the Benefit Hula Bronzer. So this is what the Hula Bronzer looks like. I kind of feel like it's somewhere in between the light and the dark shade, if that makes sense. I feel like the Hula Bronzer is definitely darker than the light shade in the Backstage palette, but it's also much lighter than the dark one. So anyway, back to the task at hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my NARS um, Translucent Setting Powder, and I'm just gonna put that under the contour here just to make it pop a bit more. I have, on more than one occasion, forgotten to wipe off the powder and just like left the house and gone on with my day with like this going on. So I think now we should dip into the highlighters. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with a lighter shade again. I'm just gonna use my highlighter brush here. Hmm. Do you guys see anything? That does not do much. Okay, let's go into the darker one. That one's a bit better. I don't know, it's like kind of shimmery. I definitely see a little bit of it in person, but I really don't think it's gonna translate that well on video. Um, it's definitely not as good as the regular Dior highlighter. Dior, the Dior Skin Luminizer, this is like perfect. Maybe if I dig into the lighter one, it'll show up more. It's definitely extremely natural. 
before I forget, I have an idea. I'm gonna put on some setting spray and then I'm gonna reapply the highlighter over top. So now that I've put on setting spray and then reapplied the highlighter over top, I feel like it is showing up a little bit more, but that being said, it's not like blinding highlight, but I don't know if it's meant to. I don't know, it just says like professional performance, buildable, blendable contour and highlight. I'm gonna go ahead and go back into the darker highlight. I'm gonna use this on my lids, but I think I learned my lesson and I'm gonna go ahead and put on some setting spray on my brush before I put on the shadow. So, to my surprise, the highlighter works better on the lids if you don't use setting spray. I said I put on some setting spray on my brush and then applied it. It did this effect, not that impressive. And then I went over top with dry without using setting spray and it did this effect, which I kind of like more. So I'm confused, but you know, keep rolling with the bunches. Maybe it makes sense that the highlighter isn't blinding because if I'm not mistaken, there's actually a separate highlighter only palette in the Dior Backstage collection. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on some mascara. All right, there you guys go. This is the finished look using the new Dior Backstage Contour Palette. I don't know, I feel like overall, this is not my favorite item in the collection. I think the eyeshadow palette and the foundation are better. I don't know, I just feel like the highlighters were very disappointing in the palette itself. That being said, I know there's like a whole other highlighting palette out there, so Maybe that performs better. That being said, if you don't want a blinding highlight, if you want something more natural and subtle, this might be for you. In my opinion, these highlighters are not as good as the Luminizer, but that's just me. So I think going into it, I was expecting something like the Luminizer and that's why I was disappointed. But I think for some people, the Luminizer might be a little bit too intense. So if you want something more natural and subtle, then maybe you'll like it more. I do like the contouring powders, even though the light one is pretty light, it is buildable. And I just like both of the contour, like the darker shades for eyeshadow. I think they work very beautifully. I don't know, I just I like the idea of using the same shades for your eyes as for your cheeks. It just makes the whole look more harmonious. It also makes it easy to travel because you only have like one palette. Although I think if I were to travel, I would take this palette here and maybe like a separate shimmer or a separate glitter just to have the lid just pop a bit more. But yeah, overall, I think maybe I would pass on this palette. It's not bad, but it's not like, wow, revolutionary, changed my mind. I do wish the highlighters were a bit more shimmery, a bit more like the regular Dior Skin highlighters, um, but it's really up to you. If you like more of a natural, subtle, highlighter, maybe you'll like it more. So I think that's all I have for you guys for today. Let me know down in the comments if you've picked up this palette or any other items in the collection. What do you guys think? What are your thoughts? Let me know what other makeup reviews or tutorials you want to see next. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. It always means a lot to me that you watch my videos. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit the little notification bell so you can know whenever I post a new video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.